what I hear so often is that like people are kind of chasing trends. They're trying to, um, they're looking at like, okay, this person that I really like is doing this. Like I'm gonna try this now, and then they change their mind the next year and be like, I'm gonna be this. And that's of course the nature of the artist. Like you want to explore all these things, and your creative mind is going wild, and you want to do everything. Um, I actually advocate for a much more like well balanced approach. I try to even advocate for five year plans where like if you're really um, looking to build something, you kind of have to figure out how you're going to con- like spend five years getting people to become aware of who you are and what you do. And if uh, you know a lot of that time you're really doing um, what a good mentor of mine calls a dark work. It's that work that you do when nobody's looking. <laughs> like the first couple of years, nobody knows what you're developing, but then you're developing this arsenal of stuff that you can just release, and you have the backlog you know, to be able to um, even start focusing on other aspects, not just the one thing that you were originally doing. Um, you were... Uh, typically when, even with independent labels, like, you know, I'll, I'll send a song to them. Um, a producer uh, will work on it with me and, um, you know, probably for a couple months. And then once it's officially done, like, it'll take another six months for it to actually come out because the labels have such, like, a backlog of what they're actually trying to get out there, trying to figure out how to get it out the best way possible. So that in, that in itself, if you start, like, right now, it'll take at least a year for you to really start seeing the fruits of your labor if you want to, like, properly... Um, secure the opportunities that you deserve. 